Okay, come in front of your hammock and go ahead and grab that little edge in the front. Shake it out side to side, making sure your hammock is completely open. Turn to face the front of the room, putting your thumbs inside. Slide your hands wide, take a step forward, and take six or seven handfuls of the fabric. Step back to the plumb line, press down, rise up to your toes, and scoot into your hammock, pulling it all the way to the back of the knees. Go ahead and take your thumbs up high on the inside, fingers on the outside, slide your hands down, creating a back belt line at your sacrum. Engaging the core, slower the, slowly lower the shoulders down, place the heel of the foot in, and pull the hammock to your ankles. Make sure that your heels of your feet are out of the hammock. Pressing down evenly with both legs. Str begin to straddle those legs out wide. Make sure that hammock is staying at the sacrum and doesn't slide up. Straddle the legs wide, leaving the legs open. So here, if you um, are new to this and are not pressing out with the legs enough or don't have the strength to do that today, continue to hold on to the hammock. If you can continue to press the legs out and keep the tension in the hammock, you can release your hands. Be sure to not press into the floor. We need the weight of the body to hold us there. Then reach up and grab your hammock, <clears throat> hook your feet behind in a monkey wrap, flexing the feet behind the hammock, release your hands, and just hang heavy here. Allow the spine to elongate, allow the head to just drop to the floor, maybe looking down at your mat, bringing the chin to the chest. And then taking your head side to side, just stretching the neck. Maybe moving the head in a circle, one direction and then the other. Just letting the body hang here. You want that spinal decompression, you wanna relax. Lift the arms and just move them freely however you want. Just loosening up the shoulders and the arms, moving, making circles with the arms. Whatever you feel like, just get some movement going in the arms. Maybe make figure eights using your obliques. Using those abdominals to move the body to create those figure eight movement. Just keep moving the body, that figure eight motion. We will use the abdominals to do this. Might look funny, don't worry how you look. You'll feel what's happening in the abdominals as you do this. And just place the back of the hands back down onto the floor. Take a few breaths here. Just let go. Now taking the hands to the mat, Placing them underneath the shoulders, you're gonna just begin to walk forward. Walk all the way forward until those shoulders are over the wrists. I'm just gonna start shifting your weight from one hand to the other. Lifting one arm as you come to one side and then the other. Or yes, if you wanna step it up, you can tap shoulders. Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, alternating each side. You can go as slow as you can see the other people in the background going fast. Just do whatever your body feels like it wants to do. <laughs> and then with those shoulders over the wrist, speed it up. Tap, tap, tap and then just let that head drop in between the elbows. So you're still keeping the arms straight, pushing your body away from your hands. It's gonna stretch the whole abdominal area, whole front side of your body. Little twist side to side at the waist. Hands are still planted. Then just allow yourself to float back, arms out to the side, back of the hands on the floor. Now, squeeze those knees and come up to a crunch, crunching, squeezing the knees, letting the knees open as you come down. So we squeeze and crunch and we open the knees to release. 
do a few or do a lot. Then come to the forearms. Now these elbows should be right underneath your shoulders. Head is just hanging here. And then float back, reach the hands up. Grab the fabric in between the knees. Straddle wide, circle those legs to the front of the room to a lever, bend the knees, and leaving the hands behind you. Important to leave those hands behind you. You're gonna fold over and just shake out the legs, roll the ankles, wiggle the toes. You always wanna make sure that hammock is to the back of the knees and your hands are behind you. That'll keep you in the hammock so you don't fall forward. The uh, hammock will catch at your shoulders and hold you here. Wiggle those ankles around those toes. And then pressing down with the legs, roll up slowly. Inhale those arms up. Grab that right side of the hammock like a rope, slide it down to your chest. Lean your left shoulder into the hammock as you kick that right leg up and over. Make sure those, that hammock is behind the knees. And inhale those arms up and out to the side. So just out from the shoulders, you're gonna press those arms back, opening up that chest, nice big heart opener. As you're opening the chest, you're thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then take that left arm. So the back of the left arm is gonna to come to the inside of that left leg as your right arm reaches up to the ceiling, creating as much space as you can between one hand and the other. Maybe moving that right hand back a little further behind you to open up the chest a little bit more. The strong core, come back to center, fold over the other side. Now right hand is, right arm is in the inside of that right leg. Left arm is reaching up to the ceiling, creating that space. And then that left hand can even move further back to open up that shoulder, open up that chest on that side. Strong core to come to the center. Both hands are gonna go out that left side as you use the hands to help pull the hammock to cover the entire foot. So we don't just have the heel out, we have the whole foot inside. We'll go over to the other side, pulling that hammock down, <clears throat> placing that hammock edge over the feet so that both feet are completely inside. Arms out to the side with level with the shoulders, pressing back, really stretching out that straddle, maybe leaning your chest forward to go deeper. Then bend the knees, bend the elbows, let those knees fall open wide and give yourself a hug. Open up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, elbows, hug the hammock, pull it in. Open it up, breathing in. And from here, we're going to bend the knees so that they're up towards the ceiling. The feet are gonna be flat in the hammock. You're gonna grab the right side in front of you and the left side in front of you. We are not grabbing it like a rope, we're grabbing each side separately, but get enough handful so you have a really good grip. Press through the feet to stand. So you want those knees up towards the ceiling and your feet flat in order to be able to stand. We're gonna zip up the core here nice and tight so everything is in one straight line. Your core is in, you're in a neutral spine, and you're balancing here with your legs just a little bit wider than hip distance or a hip distance. And you're gonna grip the hammock lightly. Maybe you make a little space between the fingers so you're not holding on really tight unless you feel that you really need to. And we're gonna keep that body in one straight line, straight up through the crown of the head. We're gonna <clears throat> um, add, duck, abduct the legs out. So you're gonna move the legs out. And as you're moving them back in, you're gonna squeeze the legs. And you're trying to keep balance here. So that way you're using all the stability in the body to help hold you here. In and out, into a straddle. A straddle doesn't have to be very wide. It's just go to where your body wants to go and then come back in. So we're going out and in, but at the same time, trying to maintain that balance. So you've got to keep that core nice and strong. Out and in. The further out you go, the more challenging it is to bring the legs in. So now we're gonna shift to the left. So your hips and shoulders are gonna to turn towards the front of the room. Arms are gonna come out and you're gonna take a reverse grip. Now your toes are pointing forward. We're just gonna go into more of a split here. Opening up, we're holding onto that hammock here. We are not letting go. And then we're pulling the legs together. Go into that split and pull the legs together. Keep going. 
Remember, you don't have to go down very far. Just go to where you feel the edge of that stretch. The further out you go, the more challenging it is to bring in, but you can also use that upper body to help pull you up. Now let's turn to the other side. So do this carefully. As you turn to face the back of the room, shoulders and hips towards the back of the room, toes facing the back of the room. Set up your hands into that reverse grip. And when you're ready, just begin to come into that split. Going out and pulling in. Out and in. Use that upper body as well. Use it to help pull you up. Now turning back to the side, holding onto that hammock in front of you. We're gonna sit our hips back, straddling the legs wide, coming back to a seated position. We'll reach out and press into the hammock again. And then keeping that back flat against the hammock, legs are still straddled wide, you're gonna reach that left hand towards the left pinky toe. Back is flat against the hammock, right arm comes up and over, and breathe here. Feel that deep stretch in the back of that left leg. Inhale up to center, keeping the back flat against the hammock, that right hand comes to the right pinky toes, left arm comes up and over. Feel that stretch in the back of the right leg. Come back up to center, take it over with a flow. Back to the left and over to the right. Just flow it out, bending side to side. But remember maintaining that long spine as you go side to side. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Now turn your shoulders towards that left leg. Now we're hinging more at the hip and we're folding over. So flex the foot. If you can grab the toes, go ahead and grab the toes, pulling back. Use your breath here, don't hold your breath. Still long through the spine. While you're here, take the toes out. So we're gonna place that hammock at the arch of the foot. Heel is in, toes are out. And keep that hammock there as you rise up to center, turn your shoulders to the right. Hinge from the hips, long spine, reach towards those toes, pulling them back if you can reach. Also bringing that hammock edge to the arch of the foot while we're here, enjoying the stretch. Use your breath. Inhale the arms back to the ceiling. Reach both arms out that left side and press into the hammock. Bend that left knee as you bring that left heel in towards your right inner thigh. Bring the arms to the outside of the hammock. Shoulders should be out. We're getting that hammock underneath the chest alongside the rib cage, pressing the arms into the hammock, rising up, lifting the chest, keeping the shoulders rounded back and down. If that hammock doesn't go under your chest, you can use your thumbs to pull it down, bringing it right to the rib cage. Bring your hands to prayer. Press down. Push your hands together and down and use your triceps to press against the hammock as you lift the chest. Take a breath or two here. Then reach those arms out to the side. Start to fold over. As you do, you're gonna bend that right knee to bring that right heel behind you. So now we're in like a 90-90 position. We're gonna drop the body forward. This is a really excellent stretch for your piriformis. So you should be feeling this on that left side and that left glute. That right knee is bent. Just take small movement, just tiny movement, moving it forward and back, nothing big. Just getting that hydration in that right hip. Rise up, lift those arms, straddle those legs back out, take both arms to the other side. So we're gonna repeat what we just did on this side. Arms are coming out of the hammock, lifting the chest. Our right knee is bent, our left leg is still straight. We're getting that hammock underneath the chest alongside the rib cage. Open up the arms, press back, and then bring those palms together at prayer at your chest. Lengthen up through the spine, press the triceps against the hammock. Take a few breaths here in this prayer position. 
Take the arms back out to the side. As you start to tip forward, you're bending that left knee to bring that left heel behind you. Let the arms just hang, the head just hangs. Now you'll feel that piriformis stretch in the opposite side. Just begin to move that left knee forward and back, that tiny little movement to hydrate the hip. Find your way back to the center, arms come back inside, reaching out to each side as we straddle one more time and pull that hammock to the back of the knees. From here, we're gonna grab that hammock in front of our chest like a rope. We're gonna bring those knees together, press the hammock away, round your spine, point your toes, inhale, pull the hammock into the chest, arching the back, exhale, round for cat, inhale for cat, exhale for cat, inhale for cow. Exhale again for your cat. Really round the spine. Bend that right knee. As you're pushing that hammock away, kick that right leg up and over, facing the front of the room again. Bring that left hand back to that left side, maybe wiggling a little bit to the center if you're off center. From here, give those legs a swing up to the ceiling to help you pop out of your hammock feet to the ground. Bring those hands in front of the hammock. Take a big step forward. Lift your left arm, bend your right knee, grab that right ankle. Hinge forward, you're going into dancer's pose. Let go of that ankle as you find the hammock with it. Drop down, bending that knee, inhale all the way up to the ceiling. Take that reverse grip, thumbs on the inside, palms up to the ceiling. Bring those elbows forward. Shift your weight back as you bend that knee. We're stretching that hip flexor and quadricep on the right leg. Make sure the right knee stays in line with your hip and doesn't pop out to the side. Just go as low as you can comfortably go while still feeling a stretch. Rise up, lift that knee and take it back. So we're gonna maintain holding onto the hammock here. Just let the hands slide down and up. Going to wherever your range of motion will allow you to go. Down and up. As you're coming up, you're pressing the heel into the floor, bringing that right knee forward. Now stay here, stay nice and low. Keep the chest lifted, arms come out to the side. We're gonna take a little airplane. Inhale, bend the knee, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Palms up to the ceiling here, back of the hands to the floor as you come to the airplane pose. Exhale on the way back, inhale on the way up. Maintain that balance, find the focal point to stare at in front of you. Always remember, if you do lose your balance, it's always best to reach for the floor, not the hammer. We're gonna take it into a warrior three, so just hinge at the hip as you tip forward, the arms are straight, we're trying to straighten that leg behind us. We'll bring those hands to the floor from here and place that left knee on the ground, pressing back, letting the head drop, forehead to the mat. This is a version of child's pose. It's a resting pose, but you're still getting a good stretch. Lift the head as you look to your hands. Mm. Bring those shoulders over the wrists. Straighten that right leg that's in the hammock. Press down with that ankle. Come onto the ball of the foot, coming up into a three-leg plank. Belly is in, so no arch in the back here. Keep that belly and hold that plank. Nice and strong, pushing the floor away. Shoulders don't come to the ears. Now, stay where you are or start to tap that foot side to side. Really strong core here. You've got to hold everything nice and tight. Protect that back. Tap side to side. Then we're going to let that leg come over to the right side and slowly start to turn the hips towards that right side as you release the right arm up to the ceiling. You can keep that hand down if you need to. 
And then we're bringing that hand back down. We're gonna stay here, just be mindful of that knee, that's the leg that's in the hammock, and just get that nice big IT band stretch. That leg that's on the floor should be flexed. Then bring that knee back to center and take it back to your version of child pose on the forearms this time. We rise up, this time we're staying on the forearms. So those elbows should be right underneath those shoulders. And we're gonna make fists with the hands. So the pinky side of your hands should be um, on the ground as those fists and knuckles are facing forward. Same applies here when the um, shoulders are over the wrists, shoulders over elbows. You're going to push into the floor so that those shoulders don't come by the ears. I'm grabbing blocks here for my students because it keeps the shoulders, um, the elbows in line where they need to be. So if you have a block, just grab hold so hands are on the outside, you're wrapping your fingers around the top and you're gonna squeeze that block. That's gonna keep everything into alignment as you're pressing into the floor at the same time. Kick that left leg back onto the ball of the foot. Place it into the hammock, holding this little plank here. Belly is in. Your option is to hold the plank and stay or go into hips over shoulders. Remember, don't let those shoulders come to the ears. We're still pushing the floor away. Take it out and in. As you come out <clears throat> to a flat back, make sure you don't arch the back. So don't go down too low if you're struggling there with core strength. As you build that core stronger, this will become easier for you. Everything is a process and a practice. Continue with us here or take a break if you need to. And then we'll all bring that right leg down, left leg in the hammock. Come back to your child pose, dropping the forehead to the mat. This is your rest and your stretch. Look back to your hands. Bring those wrists back underneath the shoulders. Push that floor away. Keep the core nice and tight. Everything zipped up. Kick that right foot back onto the ball of the foot for your three leg plank. Tapping that foot right to left. Remember you can stay in that three leg plank here if this is too much. Then leave that right leg over to that left side on the knife edge of the foot and turn the hips towards the left side of the room as you lift that left arm up to the ceiling. Pushing off that floor. Bring the right hand back down and drop the hips just enough to get that really good IT band stretch. Keep that right foot flexed, that one that's on the floor. Pull that leg back to center as you bring the knee to the ground. Take it back to your child's pose, drop the hip. Just keep those elbows under the shoulders, rise up onto the ball of the left foot, kick it back, come to your plank, the three leg plank on the forearms. Stay here or place that foot in the hammock. Stay here or lift hips over shoulders. It's up to you. We're pushing that floor away so we're not letting the head come down towards the mat. We are pushing away so those shoulders stay away from the ears and we're lifting those hips and getting them over those shoulders if possible. Remember, no arch in the back as you drop the hips down. We don't wanna compromise that back. Hold in your forearm plank. If you can, bring that right knee down when you're ready. Look towards the front of the room. Push that block away if you have one. Shoulders are over those wrists. We're pushing that floor away again.
turning the head to one side and then the other for the neck. And then we're gonna round, cat. Rise back up to your down dog, press through the heel, push your weight back away from the hands. Roll onto the ball of the foot as you shift your shoulders forward. Big step. So the higher you can come onto the ball of that foot, and the more you can pull the core in, the easier it is to pull that leg forward. Bring those hands to the thighs as you work your way back up. Hands are going to come up to that reverse grip. Thumbs on the inside. Hop back because you want to make sure you're in the center. And then go to your stretch on the other side. So we're just coming back to where we started on the previous side. We're getting that stretch, we're holding on to that hammock, we're going back only to where we feel our stretch. Knee is staying in line with your hips so you don't compromise that knee. We're pulling up, bringing the knee forward and back. Let those hands slide up and down. So you don't have to have a super tight grip here. Hands slide up, hands slide down as the knee comes forward. Pushing off the heel of the foot that's on the floor as you rise up, down and up. Now staying low here, reach those arms forward, sweep them down and back, back of the hands to the floor, palms to the ceiling. Bend that knee as you come up, straighten the legs as you come back. Airplane, then rising up, back to airplane. Chest stays lifted the entire time. And keep that gaze at whatever point you find to stare at so you don't lose your balance. Rise to the ball of your foot. Start to turn yourself to that left side of the room and then back towards the back of the room. We'll bend the knee, hooking the hammock underneath the back of that knee. Toes are facing forward, we're gonna shift. So keep the core engaged, keep the hips and shoulders facing the back of the room. If you can press down really good with that left leg, you may be able to release the hands. If you're not quite there yet, please remain holding on to the hammock. I've got my hands interlaced behind me, my knuckles facing the um, towards my heel and then lift the arms up to grab hold. Shift your weight back, let your hands slide round the spine, this is a concave stretch. Lifting up as you're shifting forward, we're gonna kick the leg so the hammock ends up at the ankle. If it doesn't, just reach down and slide that hammock to the ankle. Pressing down with that ankle, keeping your hips and shoulders forward, just hinge from the hips so the spine is still long. We're not rounding forward, we're keeping the length and hinging forward. So you may find that you don't go down as far. Now rise to the ball of the foot so that it helps you pivot to facing that left side of the room. Hand on the thigh, getting that big deep stretch in the, um, the groin and inner thigh area. Bring the palms of the hands together at prayer. You can let your uh, elbow or forearm rest on that thigh. And then lifting the chest just enough to keep those hands at prayer. We're taking it down and up. It might be hard to tell um, in this video, but my right toes are facing that right side of the room. My left foot is flexed and my knee is not being forced up to the ceiling. It's, it's just going um, towards that right side of the room, more towards like the, where the wall meets the ceiling. Inhale the arms straight up as if you've got a beach ball between your hands and just bend at the waist to the left. Keep that beach ball in your hand, taking it to the left, strong core up to the ceiling. Arms stay up and straight to the left and back up to the left. We're getting a deep stretch in the right side of the body, also working the obliques as we bend to the left. Stay here, rise to the ball of your foot to help you pivot to face the hammock again. Take that right arm to the far outside of that left hammock and open up into a nice twist. Always trying to think of lengthening up straight first and then breathing out as you open up into the twist. 
Reach for your hammock up high. Let your weight drop as you switch feet. Back of the knee goes in. Press down with the back of that right leg as you shift your weight forward, driving that left heel to the ground as best as you can. If you find balance, you can release the hands and release the fingers, press the knuckles down towards the heel of that left foot. Opening up the chest, another heart opener, squeeze in the shoulder blades, keep an apple under your chin, reach up, grab hold, pull back, drop the hips, round the spine, there's your concave stretch. Pull with the arms as you shift your weight forward, straighten the leg, catch that hammock in the ankle or push it down to the ankle if it didn't quite catch. Long spine, hinge from the hips, fold to where your body allows you to go. Feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Slight rise onto the ball of that foot to help you pivot. Hinging forward. Hand is on the thigh, forearm can come to the thigh. Hands come to prayer of the chest. Elbow and forearm press against that thigh. Rise up just enough with the chest lifted to take it up and down. Little one leg squats. Chest is lifted, apples under the chin. Neck is in line with your spine. Press through the heel of your foot as you come up. Down and up. Reach those arms up to the ceiling, open them up, beach ball in hand. Bend at the waist, strong through the core as you come up. Exhale, inhale up to the ceiling. Bend at the waist. Inhale up to the ceiling. Work those obliques, stretch that side body. Rise to the ball of your foot to turn back towards the back of the room. Left hand comes to the far side of the hammock. Arm is level with the shoulders as you reach that right arm back. Look to your thumb. Enjoy that twist. And here we'll bring that right hand back to the hammock, grabbing both sides. Hands are up high. Shift back. Let your hips drop. We're not pulling up, we're just bringing that left ankle in, then bending the knees. Rolling out the back of the thighs from the back of the knees to the crease under the butt. Roll up and down. Massaging those um, hamstrings, getting that nice deep tissue massage. Rolling up and down. We're gonna bring that right arm around the outside of the hammock, palm faces you. Left hand comes to your chest, stays on the same side as your body, and grabs the other side, making an X with the arms. Your palms are facing you, you're pulling that hammock apart as hard as you can, keeping that tension. You're gonna to begin to swing the legs to get some momentum. Pull that hammock as hard as you can. Get that momentum going, bring the legs up and through, and the hammock is going to catch at your hip crease. It's best if you've never done this to do it with a spot. Um, you'll see in a moment here, um, one of my students needed a little help, so I, there is a modification. You can also do this with an open hammock. Um, if you find that you're not able to pull the hammock far enough apart while swinging the legs up and over, you can um, create an open hammock and you may find that it's easier to get into this position. If you're not quite there yet, you can always um, just skip this part, but you wanna fold the hammock in half. So front edge meets the back edge. Make sure that the two edges are at your back and the folded part is at the front. You'll grab that folded edge, sit into the hammock, bring it to the back of the knees. You'll reach the arms up and out. Same thing. Right hand is going to come around the front of the hammock. Left hand stays on the same side. Palms are facing you and you're gonna pull that hammock, it's gonna turn you around, and then you're gonna use that momentum to swing up and over. Once again, hammock has to come to the hip crease and legs go straight to the ground, not up. They go straight through and down. 
So you'll see here, um, my client who took that modification, she'll be able to get into this pose here. I'm helping her to pull. She's bringing her legs through, so it's not as smooth, but I'm gonna make sure she gets there. No, 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 she did it wrong. <laughs> I'm correcting her here. Um, so that's why, this is why it's good to have a spot, someone that knows what they're doing. Those legs go straight down. Now the hammock is hooked in her hips. She's just in a different wrap, but she's able to successfully um, hang here in what we call ragdoll. So it's a nice deep tissue in the hips. It's intense, just like all um, hip hangs are. You can grab the toes here if you'd like. To come out, reach up for your hammock, chuck your chin to your chest, knees into your chest. You stay in a ball. Stay in that little ball and you'll come right out back onto the swing. You wanna stay in a ball. That chin stays to your chest, those knees stay to your chest and you can flip back over. I'll make a little video tutorial specifically on this that breaks it down a little bit more. Um, so stay tuned for that if it's something that you're looking for. Now we're just gonna find our feet on the plumb line. Hammock is going to just catch underneath the shoulder blades. Back of the hands come to your forehead, let those hips drop. Bend the knees, walk it forward to a uh, <clears throat> Chair position. So here we we just decided to grab our blocks if you have them. You don't need the blocks. It's just uh, just changes it a little bit. We're gonna take that reverse grip with the elbows facing forward. I'm squeezing the blocks between my ankles. I'm pulling the belly in, tucking the pelvis to engage the core, and I'm gonna lift and lower that block. Like I said, you don't need a block here, um, but if you have one, you can use it. It's nice to also place it here in between the thighs, lifting and lowering, working the core. Remember, elbows forward here. And you're using your biceps, protecting those shoulders that way. This nice little abdominal exercise. Just return to that chair position. We're squeezing that block between our, our thighs. It's a nice, um, it's really nice for the hips and the pelvis. It's kind of like a pel pelvic reset. Sometimes you may find that you hear a little pop and that just means you reset your pelvis. So we're gonna lose those blocks. We're gonna turn our toes out. We're just gonna rock side to side with the knees wide. Toes out, heels in, rock side to side. Grab that hammock up high. Press back, straightening the legs. Make sure the hammock's underneath the shoulder blades. Reach the arms back, elongate the body. Bend the knees, bend the elbows into goddess. Inhale the arms up, straightening the legs. Bend the elbows coming forward. Inhale, goddess. Fingers are spread wide. Shoulder blades squeezing, elbows as wide as you can get them. Arms come out to the side and forward, reverse grip. Lift and lower the legs with the knees wide. See if you can get those knees towards the elbows or those triceps. That looks a little funny, but it's a good little workout. And then walk it back. So now heels are in, just at the inside of the mat and toes are out. We're gonna rock to one side, take it all the way forward. Hips are pressing forward, shoulders are forward. We're not twisting the body, we're pressing onto our toes, going all the way around, pressing those hips forward. Make sure that that hammock stays under the shoulder blades. If it slides up, you're gonna notice your knees are gonna come too close to the ground, so just reset. And the trick here is it's more about lifting the chest than it is holding on. So if your hammock's under the shoulder blades and you're lifting your chest, that hammock's not gonna slide and you'll be more successful in these um, gyros that help to lubricate the hips and strengthen the knees. So now we're bringing those feet together. Hammock is underneath those shoulder blades. We're inhaling back to mountain. And feet stay in the center as we shift forward. So inhale, mountain. Bend the elbows. We're keeping the elbows on the inside. Um, we are leaning back so that hammock doesn't slip. So make sure you're lifting the chest. If you wanna keep the elbows on the outside, you can just keep the hands together, elbows wide. 
Bending the knees, third eye prayer, mountain. Third eye prayer, mountain inhale, arms out. Arms up and back. So we're just gonna roll those arms out and back for the shoulders, big circles. And then take a grip up high. Body roll yourself to center. Take that hammock, flip it around the front. So you're behind the hammock. We're gonna go on to our knees here. And so my two clients behind me, they have really thin mats. So I'm just giving them a little extra padding there. So keep that in mind if you have a thin mat or a very hard floor. My mat is very dense, so it doesn't bother me. But um, doubling up on your mat or folding your mat. Um, actually, you'll see my client behind me it's still not enough. So he folded the top of his mat over and that works for him. We're gonna get the knees nice and wide, big toes touched behind us. We're reaching for our hammock, we're just dropping the chest, bending the elbows, letting the head hang. Pulling up. We're gonna straighten those arms. We're gonna let the right hand rest in the hammock. You can use a block here if you'd like. I'm reaching my arm forward, and it's just a small movement. It's, um, these are shoulder shrugs, so you're reaching your hand forward and just pulling back. We're working into the muscles that support and surround that shoulder blade. So arm straighten, and then just pull it back. Shoulder shrugs. Reach and retract. Reach and retract. This really gets the whole shoulder girdle moving. So now we're going to bring the arm out to the side, bend the elbow, and then reach forward. Reach around to the side, bend the elbow, and then reach that arm forward. It really helps with the um, mobility of that whole shoulder girdle. Now as we bring the arm out to the side, we're gonna to start to turn the hand so the palm faces down behind you. Monitor your resistance here. We're just bending the elbow like so that the back of the hand is if it's tracing the spine. You may not have much range of motion here, that's totally fine, just do a tiny bend, do what you can, and the more you do this, you'll find much more mobility building in that um, shoulder girdle. Remember, back of my hand is facing down to the ground, my palm is up here. Now I'm bringing the hand back around. And taking it back out in front of me. We're gonna switch, that left hand is going to go into the hammock. I'm gonna move my block. You need the block, you may not need it, um, but if you need it, feel free to use it. Letting my right hand rest on the block. I'm reaching my left arm out, palm is down, shoulder shrugs. Remember, same thing as the other side. Reaching those fingers forward and then just pulling the shoulder back. So shrugging the shoulder forward and back. Really tiny, small movement. Not much movement here. Your arm should be straight. We're gonna start bringing that arm out to the side, bending the elbow, palm is still down, reaching forward, bending the elbow, reaching forward, bend that elbow. And now we bring that arm all the way around. Palm faces up, back of the hand, down towards the ground or towards your body. As you bend the elbow, you think of tracing the back of your hand up your spine, only to where it wants to go. So my, the other side, I struggle with that um, shoulder girdle. This side's easier for me. So you may find the same thing. One side might be easier. You may have more range of motion there. Then taking that arm all the way up to the side, you'll feel a really good side stretch here. The further you reach that hand, Bring it back to the center. Coming around to seated. Hammock should be right at your forehead. We're gonna reach the arms through, from front to back to the, through the center. And then, so we're having a wrist wrap here. 
We're gonna roll back, core's engaged, rounded spine, roll back, past your sits bones. Arms are straight. Feet are hip distance apart, knees bent up to the ceiling. We're gonna lift those hips, coming into a bridge. Keep the neck in line with your spine. Just lifting and squeezing those glutes, lift those hips. Hold, heels should be right underneath the knees. Feet hip distance apart and then lower. Lift, pull the hips up to the ceiling and lower. Pull and squeeze. Arms are straight. Lift and press. Drop the butt and then lift. Walk backwards all the way to stand. Those hands will stay the way they are. We'll walk forward. Hips are over the knees and ankles. Hinging from the hips, hands shoulder distance apart. We're gonna lift that right leg coming into a warrior three position. Arms are active, so they're not loose. We're reaching. We're gonna bend the elbows, pull the knee into the chest. Elbows stay in by your sides, pulling down. So work those biceps. Pull, elbows in, knee up, and extend. Pull down, bring that knee to the hammock, and take it back. Pull it in, press it back. Keep going, knee in, and foot to the floor. Come back to that little right angle as we lift the opposite leg. Arms are reaching, nice and strong, belly's in, hip points point to the ground. Pull, use those biceps, that hammock is coming to the thigh. Pull and extend. Keep going. Press through the heel of that foot. Keep that foot flexed as you come out to your warrior three and as you bring the knee into your chest. Feet meet in the center. Bend the knees, lift the chest, a little cow. And straighten the legs, round roll up to a cat. All the way up to the top. Release the hands. We're gonna go ahead and bring those hands outside the hips and press down. Get that hammock in the hip crease as you walk forward. That hammock you want in the crease of the hips, not in the abdomen. And you're walking as far forward as you can. You're gonna to go to front tension. When the hands reach the floor, you're gonna walk back so that your hips are right underneath the plumb line. Feet are hip distance apart. You're pressing your weight to your heels. This is your supported down dog. And you're just gonna rock a little side to side, shifting your weight from one side to the other. It's just a shift of the weight. Now hop those feet together. Bring the right leg forward and press back. This is a pyramid pose. So we're getting that lovely pyramid pose, but we're also getting that deep tissue and the massage of the hips. You're pressing your chest towards your thigh, and then we're gonna lift that left leg. We're gonna really control our um, abdominals, keeping them tight, and we're gonna just lift the hands off the floor and lower, keeping that leg off the ground if possible. Lift and lower. Drop that foot back down onto the ball of the foot. Bring that right leg back. Press back to your down dog. And from here, that left leg comes forward. Back to pyramid. Pressing towards that, that, that uh, right heel. Chest towards the thigh. Feet are staying planted, shift forward, lift that right leg, keep that core strong. We want the back flat here. We're lifting and lowering. Remember, do your best, no better, no less. If this is a struggle for you, it's something to work, work up to. Drop that foot back to the ball of the foot. Both feet meet in the back, and we're gonna hop our legs out wide. So we're gonna hop and shift forward, Hop back, feet together, hopping out, pushing off the toes, coming back and pushing off. Feet together, pushing out, 
So you wanna to try to get those heels down as you go back and as you go out to the side. And then we'll keep those legs wide and wrap the feet. These, the feet are wrapped here from the outside of the hammock to the inside. Toes are wrapped around the inside. Hammock stays in the hip crease. Knees stay wide as we rock side to side. Now you're gonna float back a little bit, coming onto the forearms. Elbows are staying underneath those shoulders. Forearms are down. Now we're gonna to come to the hands here and press away. So we're working the triceps here. Elbows stay drawing in, and you're pushing your body weight away from your hands. Down, push, away from the hands to straighten the arms. Bend the elbows, push. And these are pretty gentle tricep um, strengtheners, so you may not feel much at, at first, but the more you do, it'll suddenly sneak up on you. You're like, oh, this is easy, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, okay, this is working. <laughs> so if you haven't worked those triceps much, this is a great way to build them. Um, just keep increasing. So we're gonna let our body float back and we're gonna reach the hands, fingers towards the back of the room. Try to get those hands as close together as you can. Leave them planted and let your weight float back. This is really nice traction here. You can just kind of rock your hips side to side. Great lower back release as well. Yeah, some of them are having a little fun with this one. You know, yes, sometimes you just move your body however you want to move it, and that's totally fine as long as it's safe. Shifting forward, shoulders over wrists. We're going to bring the right foot down, keeping the left foot hooked, and we're going to hop forward. What a great stretch this is, really. I'm just gonna put my block there because I have it. So that knee that's bent, the foot that's in the hammock, that knee, keep that knee in line with your hip. You do have the option here, if, you, if you're really into the splits and um, it's safe to do so, you can slide that foot up. You'll see my one client in the back, she has her foot slid up. We're gonna switch feet now, so we're gonna hook the other foot the same way, hop that left foot forward, press the chest back toward the thigh, if you, if you can, if not, if your body's not there yet, just stay where you are where you're still getting that stretch. Once again, left, uh, that right knee is gonna stay in line with your hip. We don't want that knee out to the side. We wanna keep it in towards the midline. And also that foot that's hooked, you can slide it up. Just keep the foot flexed so that it stays in contact with the hammock. Shift forward, we're gonna let those feet meet at the ground and walk all the way to the front of our mat. And we're gonna roll up slowly, slight bend of the knees, head always coming up last. You can get dizzy here, so just take it easy. We're gonna bring that hammock behind us. We're gonna let it catch underneath the shoulder blades. We're gonna bring the hands behind the head and pull the chin to the chest. You can rock forward and back if you'd like onto the balls of the feet. We're just rocking in this chair pose while we're just taking a break from that inversion. It's never good to just jump into something else after your head is lower than your heart, so um, take as much time as you need there. Then we're gonna just lift the hips as we straighten the legs. Elbows are wide, hands are interlaced behind the head, and you're um, keeping those elbows as wide as you can, rocking side to side, letting the knees bend as you come to each side. So as I come to the right, my right knee bends. It's a twist, a little, little twist. Same on the other side. I'm leaning back, keeping tension in the hammock. Side to side. These feel so good, I think. Now 
Now reaching for your hammock, grab hold, walk those feet in, reach up, body roll yourself all the way up to the top. And this concludes today's class. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you on our channel and um, you'll get notified as more videos are added to the mix. Have a great day. Keep flying.